Crime 2's Kyle Simchuk spoke with a criminal defense attorney who says the city could actually end up in a tangled mess of court cases. Kyle? Well, this all boils down to what the Ninth Circuit Court decided in 2018, saying cities cannot arrest or cite people for sleeping in public areas when there's not enough shelter beds or other services available. While the mayor's office is confident this proposal will align with the courts, a defense attorney I talked to worries these camping restrictions are just too broad. You may have heard about the case of Martin v. Boise before, so what does it actually mean for communities? In 2009, six homeless people in Boise sued the city after they were cited and some of them jailed for sleeping on public property when they had nowhere else to go. A district court ruled in favor of the city of Boise, but the case would go all the way to federal court. In 2018, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals ruled that cities could not enforce public camping laws if they didn't have enough shelter beds available. The ruling set a precedent for nine western states, including Washington. It greatly limited the ability of police to arrest somebody for sit-lie uh, on the street violations, camping on the street violations, and really tied their hands to um, uh, clearing the streets as they would view it. Stephen Graham is a criminal defense attorney. Today, he watched Mayor Nadine Woodward's press conference where she said the city needs to do more to prevent people from camping on sidewalks, under bridges, and in city parks. We know from feedback that people are nearly unanimous in their desire for something to be done about public camping. I think the ordinance could be problematic. It depends how it's uh, you know, enforced by, by the police on the street, uh, but it's certainly gonna raise a lot of questions and dump a lot of new cases in our municipal courts, that's for sure. The Martin v. Boise decision has left cities asking if it's legal to prohibit camping in certain areas during specific times. Under the mayor's proposal, camping would be prohibited at all times under bridges, near the river, in parks, and the entire downtown business improvement district. Every part of the map you see colored. Seems a little bit broad. The mayor's office is confident the proposed ordinance aligns with the Martin v. Boise ruling. Graham isn't so sure. It's a very muddied area of the law. It's going to be a mess uh, for our courts to try to work on this, resolve it. Um, you know, I would just encourage the city to be cautious about this. And the proposed ordinance would not impact the homeless camp near I-90 and Freya. Mayor Nadine Woodward says the city has access to commerce funds, about $25 million. She says the city has been given 30 days to come up with a plan for how to use that money to relocate people off the property. In the newsroom, Kyle Simchuk, Krem 2